Boom, 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 boom. Got ourselves a four-star corner. Pulled up. Michael Hawkins' little brother, Malik Hawkins, has decided to pick Oklahoma over the competition. So you know we got to dive into that because Malik, not going to lie, man, I think he could be something, right? So let's dive into Malik. Let's look at some of his highlights and uh, talk about what this means for this cornerback room that Oklahoma's recruiting for because that room feels like it's getting a little tight. So before we do that, welcome to Sooner Later Sports and Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you for pulling up to the channel. Let's talk about the commitment of Malik Hawkins, the four-star, consensus four-star cornerback out of Frisco, Texas, Emerson High School, the little brother of Michael Hawkins, the current freshman quarterback at Oklahoma. And yeah, this recruiting class is hard to expand. So let's look at his measurables, dive into the numbers. Of course, Malik pulls up here six foot one, about 100 and about 70 something, 180 pounds corner. Nice size dude. That's the best part about him. He's rated four stars on rivals, three on, on three, but on three has him as his consensus as a four star top 330 player in the country. And the big thing with Malik is here, like I said, he's Michael Hawkins' little brother, but at the same time, he can hold his own, man. I looked at some of the film. Film looks good. Well, like you know what he's doing, right? And that's, of course, a plus, right? Because what Oklahoma's trying to do is build up that big secondary. He's a big corner at six foot one, and he's got enough jets to make it happen. So, but I think what jumped out to me, though, in see seeing everything with him is he runs track, another track guy, 2396 and 200 in February, and a 21 point, 21 of, and a 21.3.5 long jump here in Feb. So dude's got some bounce. And the best part is, we talked about this in the video before, as we prepare for these incoming commitments. Michael Hawkins Sr. Play corner at Oklahoma for Brent Venable. So he's following dad's footsteps, right? Kind of neat, right? Pretty interesting. But on top of that, so Oklahoma got him to go ahead and commit. I mean, he was going up against Texas, Indiana. He had Mississippi State. You know, decent group that was after him. I know Texas was actually after him pretty hard. And, I mean, the bigger thing was is that the anticipation was he's going to follow, follow bro, right? You know, they like Oklahoma. They love Brent Venables. Dad played for Brent before going to the NFL. So it made sense, right? It lines up. Now, this is the thing, though. Now that we've got... Malik in the class, that's the first corner. I'm anticipating Oklahoma to take about three. You still got others in that lineup from a Kobe Sellers to a Cortland Guillory to a Tristan Haynes, in which I know Oklahoma really won't Haynes, plays at Carl Albert, big corner. Georgia's trying to sneak in and snatch him up right now. Tells you a little something about them, right? You always look at the offer sheet and the teams that's going after them. Usually tells you the type of player that they really are. And Malik's got it. I mean, like I said, he's, I mean, Texas is going after him heavy. And so his offer sheet's not bad. He had Arkansas, Texas, A&M. You know, he has a nice sheet going after him. But at the same time, his commitment, his recruitment kind of slowed down really for him because a lot of people anticipated him coming and following his dad's footsteps and his older brother. So Oklahoma got him. And so now we're in a situation where we need to figure out who's going to be the next one. I know Kobe Sellers likes Oklahoma a lot. He's even gotten some crystal balls already. And so I'm wondering if he's going to pull the trigger. I think I've seen one crystal ball for Tristan Haynes a while ago, but there's been so much chatter with him in Georgia. Nobody knows if that's true, right? And then from there, you got to go into Cortland Guillory, who in the last couple of articles in which if you watched the last the video I did on Sunday for the Heisman Hangout, he was in town. So was Kobe Sellers. So was Malik Hawkins. And see Soda uh, Stewart at Ohio. He was in town. And supposedly Oklahoma blew all of them out the water, man. They all liked what Oklahoma had to offer. So now the question is, does Oklahoma decide to expand and take an additional? You got Hawkins. You got to take Haynes, most likely. Then you got to think about if you're going to take uh, Kobe Sellers also. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Sellers is a, is a, is a good one, too. So was Guillory. So you take four corners. It's kind of a lot going into the next year. But if you feel like you may need to replace some players, might be worth it. I don't know. All I know is this. 
Oklahoma has got a nice lineup of players. They've got a pretty solid 25 class. And I'm going to tell you all now, I anticipate another commitment coming up in a few hours. All right. So we get the midday one from Michael Hawkins, uh, from Malik Hawkins. My apologies. Pretty excited about that. Hop in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Told you I was going to be prepared. Drop this video right when he met, made this announcement because, you know, we knew it was coming. You made this far like the content. Please hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Love for you to join this family. College football fans talking OU football, SEC, and college football in general. Had a blast doing it. All right. We'll have another video later today because I anticipate another commitment coming down the line. So keep your eyes open. We'll chat soon. Peace.